This is a level two functional skills maths paper from NCFE. It's split into two parts. In the first part, you can't use a calculator, but in the second part, you can. So we'll start with the first part, taking each question one by one in turn. Here is the first question, flat share. Alex, Jess and Steph are students. They're looking for a flat to share. They see these adverts online. We've got three bedroom flats in Upton and three bedroom flats in Downton, and we've got the different prices per month. What percentage of the flats in Downton cost over £420 per month? So we're focusing on this town and we're looking at prices above 420 425 that is above. This one is not, and neither is this one, 447 as well. So it's two of them out of one, two, three, four, five. So two out of five, which is the same as four out of 10, doubling them. And that is also the same as 40 out of 100 by multiplying by 10. And we know that 40 out of 100 means 40%. But there are other ways as well you could have worked this out, such as dividing two by five and then converting that into a percentage. So the final answer is 40%. They want to know which location is the cheapest. Use the median monthly rental price to show which location is the cheapest. So median monthly rental prices. So we're going to work out the median of the prices for the two towns separately and then compare. So we'll do them on the side here. Starting with the smallest, the cheapest price, which is 375. Then we have 389, 395, 433. 450, 475. So crossing them out to find out which numbers sit in the middle or which number sits in the middle, depending on whether it's one or two of them. We have two numbers in the middle, so 395 and 433. We're going to add them both together and divide by two to find the median cost, medium value. So 395 at 433, 5 and 3 is 8, 9 and 3 is 12, 7, 8. So 828, which we're going to divide by 2. Two, how many twos fit into eight? That is four of them. How many twos into two? That's just one. How many twos into eight again? That is four. So 414 pounds is the median for Upton. We'll do the same for Danton. So putting them in order, we've got 330. Then we have... 368, 412, 425, 447. And we've got 412 in the middle. Four hundred and twelve is cheaper than five hundred and fourteen, and we're looking for the cheapest. So the answer is four hundred and 
12th, and this was Downton. Alex, Jess and Steph each get a student loan to help with living expenses. They decide to allocate two-fifths of their loans for food and one-sixth for travel. What fraction of this student loan will be left to spend? So we'll add the two-fifths and the one-sixth together and then take it away from one. So two-fifths add one six at the moment we can't just add them like that because you've got to imagine having a cake that's split into five slices and another cake which is split into six slices so they're not the same size the slices are not of the same size so we've got to find a size that is the same for both of them a slice size which means finding a common denominator and a common denominator for 5 and 6 would be 30. So to get from 5 to 30, we multiply by 6. So we'd need to do the same with the top number. So 2 times 6 is 12. And to get from 6 to 30, we multiply by 5. So we need to do the same with the top number, the numerator. So now adding them together because the sizes of the slices are the same now. So 12 and 5 gives us 17 thirtieths. So this is how much you spend on food and travel altogether. We need to work out how much is left. So from 30 out of 30, we take away 17 thirtieths. And that is going to leave us with 13 thirtieths. Because this means one, a whole thing, the whole amount. So 13 thirtieths is the answer. The students work out that together they have £5,400 each year to spend on rent. They find a flat to rent that will cost £5,200 per year. If the rent increases by 2% next year, will it still be within their budget? Sure you're working. So we've got to work out 2% of 5200 and add it on top of 5200 to see whether it's still within the budget, which is £5,400. So as we're not using a calculator, we're going to use the 1% method. So 1% of 5,200 pounds. And we know that 1% 1 is 100 times smaller than 100%. So what this means is with a total amount, we're going to divide that by 100. So 5,200 divided by 100, which in this case means just knocking off the two zeros. So we get 52. 2% then is just double that amount. So it's going to be 104. So if I add the £104 to the £5,200, then I get £5,304, which is within the budget. So we're going to say yes. The plan shows a flat the students like. The living room has a trapezium-shaped bay window. 
The landlord will replace the carpet in the living room with new flooring, as long as it costs £250 or less. The new flooring costs £20 per square metres. The formula for finding the area of a trapezium is A plus B divided by 2 times H. And we'll need to... So we'll need to work out the area of the living room, how much flooring is needed and whether that is within the budget. We've also seen the formula for finding the area of a trapezium, which we're going to need here because of the window. So I'm going to split the living room into two parts. Where we've got the window in a trapezium shape and the rest of the living room. So for the rest of the living room, we can just go 3.5 times 2.5 to work out the area. And for the trapezium, we've got 1.5. This length here is equal to 3.5 because it's the same as this one meters and we've got the height which is 1.4 so I'm going to input those into the formula to work out the area of this part of the living room so 1.5 add 3.5 divided by 2 times 1.4 So taking this step by step, 1.5 add 3.5 gives us 5 and then dividing that by 2 is going to give us 2.5. Now we need to multiply 2.5 by 1.4. So we'll ignore the decimal points. So 4 times 5 is 20. 0 down and 2 carried over. 4 times 2 is 8 and the 2 is 10. Moving down, so putting a 0 down first. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 2 is 2. Adding them together. Now in the first decimal we've got one decimal place in the second one we've got one decimal place as well so two all together and that's what we're going to give this final number so starting from the end we go one two places to the left so that makes 3.50 or just 3.5 and that is the area of the trapezium but we still need to work out the area of the rest of the living room, which is worked out by going 3.5 times 2.5. So 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 3 is 15 and the 2 is 17. Put a zero down, two times five is ten, and one carried over. Two times three is six, and the one seven. One decimal place here, and another one here, that means two in total. So we go one, two, eight point seven five. So that's the rest of the living room. Add in 3.5 and we get the total area for the living room. Adding them together we get 5 12.25 Now the cost is 20 per square metre 
So we're going to multiply this by 20 to work out the total cost. So 12.25 times 20. So multiplying by zero, you get all zeros. And then going down one place, we put a zero down. Two times five is 10. Two times two is four, and the one is five. Two times two is four. Two times one is two. And we've got two decimal places here, and we have none there. So we're going to give this two decimal places. So going backwards, one, two. So that is 245.00. Which means 245 pounds. And that is within the budget, which is 250 pounds. So we can say to the answer, will the landlord replace the carpet with a new flooring? We're going to say yes. It costs less than two hundred and fifty pounds. Alex just instead decide to rent a different three bedroom flat. They choose their bedrooms. Alex's bedroom has an area of twelve square meters. Jess's bedroom has an area of 18 square meters and Steph's bedroom has an area of 20 square meters. They decide to share the rent between them. Option one, share the rent equally between them. And option two, share the rent based on the area of their bedrooms. Which option will work out cheapest for Jess? So the total area is 12, add 18, add 20. Four, five, so 50 squared meters. Jess's bedroom has an area of 18. So we'll do 18 out of 50, which is the same as 36 out of 100, which means 36%. Whereas by going with option one of sharing the rent equally, they would have to pay one third, which is 33.3%. So this option, option one, is cheaper than option two. And this is the end of this part.